Good morning. I'd like to start this devotional with just a short little little song, of course, and I'm going to end with a longer song. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a really good way to start the day, and I find many times when I get up, it probably doesn't happen until I get in the car and I'm on my way somewhere, but every day is a gift from God. And ironically enough, um, the devotional that I picked is, it's been a good day. So we start our day with the Lord and we end it with the Lord. Um, this reading is from the Women's Devotional Bible, which is wonderful because it goes through, um, it gives you an opportunity to read the Bible and then uh, maybe every 20 pages or so there's a devotional. So the one that, uh, again, I chose that just sort of struck me uh, the day when I was going through it is, it's been a good day. It's been a good day, Lord. Yes, a very good day. I didn't realize it when it was happening. There's many frustrations. I was very discouraged when the letter I was praying for didn't come. Then the telephone rang, bringing good news. When the child was carried home from the playground, hurt, and we rushed him to the hospital, you knew my awful fears. But to learn that it wasn't really serious brought a sense of heightened joy. Sheer joy can generate sheer bliss. So now the child's asleep with a bandage slip rather comically around his head. My husband stands in the yard, leaning on his rake as he visits with a neighbor. Other children will come spilling across the yard. The sun is golden glory behind the trees. I can smell the pot roast mingling with the tangy fragrance of burning leaves. I look back on the day with its usual ups and downs, its moments of anguish, its moments of gratefulness and joy. And now that it's ending, an aching awareness fills me. I realize that it's been a good day, Lord, a very good day. For it's been filled with life, the life that you've given to me to cope with and to contribute to. And I wouldn't want to have missed it, not a single moment of it. Thank you, God for this indeed was a good day. Now the passage that they cited was out of Proverbs and we need the Old Testament in order to have the New Testament. But for me, the Old Testament many times puts God in a punitive position as well as lauding him. So the passage that I would like to cite is from Matthew 6 verses 25 to 34. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than the clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life. And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is now how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you or of little faith so do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all of these, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And as I read that last verse, I realized that I knew the words because it is in the hymnal. And being a choir member and loving the Lord and loving worshiping Him through my music, I would like to end this devotional with a song. It is 405 out of the hymnal. And it's called Seek Ye First. And it quotes that exact last verses 33 and 34. <clears throat> See
Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. I hope you have a wonderful day. Worry not, the Lord will be with you. In God's name, go in peace. Amen.